What's up? Action here, back at it again with another video. So today's video, guys, is mag unbox tayo ng TRX40 Aorus Extreme Gaming Motherboard from Gigabyte. Uh, this motherboard, guys, is for third gen na Threadripper na gagawin ko for my next Aorus Gaming PC build. And so, hintayin nyo yan. Quick overview lang natin, guys, and check ko lang kung ano kasi bago kong i-build yan, lagi kong tinagawa ito, i-review ko muna so this is a AMD socket na STRX4. So this is for the Ryzen Red Reaper. Yeah, third gen na Ryzen Red Reaper. Yeah, ito po yung socket. Uh, harap ng box, makikita nyo. So logo ni Aorus. And dito rin sa ikot. Same with the other side. Check lang natin itong mga features. Yeah. So version direct, uh, 16 plus 3. So that's oh, 80, 19 phases of Infineon Digital DR Solution here. Yeah, Mention 70 amp power stage. Also, this is a PCIe 4 uh, ready now. So, Mention Intel uh, dual port and 10 gigabits LAN. Yeah. Next is the thermal reacting armor. Uh, so, it's in the 8 mm uh, heat pipes. And that is the fin array. I'm going to the closer look. Then, Mention the uh, Wi Fi 6 ready na po siya. And yung AIC Gen 4 na Aorus adapter mga high capacity and high speed na connectivity or storage dito ang mga mga ito yan, Tima Fight On yan, so yan, nakita ko nito guys meron na siyang ano, naka-install na uh, trend paper I think this is ano, uh, 3960X kaya okay, mamaya guys, dito ko sir lang na lang natin yung model board tatanggalin ko muna dito pangayin ko muna yung mga accessories so for the ano, it has the stickers yan, uh, as if you're ano uh, uh, mga orange team. Meron din siyang mga um, gray and black. Then yan, manual. So guys, it's 8 pieces na SIFA cable. Tapos meron siyang double strap here. Uh, screws for, I don't know, sa handle to NVMe. Ayan, double screws dito. Then G connector for the front panel. And sa so, RGB, then meron siyang USB. Yung SIFA cable na lang guys, is naka-braided po siya. Ayan, gamit yung pan dito mga screws. Next is for the dual antenna, uh, support component is Wi-Fi 6 na. Tapos yung mga sensor, then another sensor then. I think for front panel uh, extension na ka, cable to para dun. Kasi naka-right angle yung motherboard lang yung makikita nyo. Uh, Addressable RGB extension, yan same then. And yeah, dalawa. Dalawa yung nakita na. And for pin pala yun. So dalawang for pin, dalawang addressable na. 5 volts. Yung isa is 4 pins, 12 volts. And right next is ano to? RSRGB fan commander. And para siyang hum, break down. Nahan ko yung libre ko. Ow! Hindi siya naba. Hindi siya naba si Sir Martin. Hindi ko makapakita sa inyo guys. Yung kasama niyang PCIe connector. Ay yung ano. Wala guys, hindi na siya naman. Hindi ko makapakita sa inyo. So, yun lang yung laman guys. So, move on tayo sa motherboard. Dipindi ko lang mga tao dahil closer lang tayo sa uh, RS Extreme Gaming Motherboard ni Gigabyte. Okay. Alright, so nahin ko lang guys yun sa pinaka-center. Nakikita nyo yung AMD Ryzen Threadripper na 3960X. That's a 24 cores and 48 threads. Yan, uh, this is the TRX40 chipset and also AMD socket STRX. Four. Ito po yung socket niya. So, hindi po siya compatible sa 1st gen and 2nd gen na Ryzen Threadripper. So, pang 3rd gen lang siya. Okay? So, kung makakita yung performance so sa rendering, of course, gaming din, tsaka yung temperature nito. So, so mamaya nga pala guys, gusto ko rin makita yung temperature nito. I'll be using the Aorus, yung cooler na 360 rod. Mamaya, makita nyo. Alright, so next muna tayo dito sa my heatsink. Yan, makikita nyo. Itong heat pipe na to, ito sa 8mm. Then, meron siyang mga fin stock dito. Naka, ayun, mas kabrang haba nito guys. And, nage-extend din dito. So, sa ilalim nun, uh, kinakool niya yung uh, VRM. So, VRM has a 16 plus 3 phases na Infineon Digital VRM solution. Meron siyang 70 amp na power stage. Nakita nyo naman guys, sobrang laki ng chip. So, ang requirement nito is kailangan nyo ng malakas ng power. Pag malakas yung power na kailangan nyo, kailangan nito lagyan ng magandang cooling dito for the VRM. So, tapos sa likod nito guys, is meron siyang nano-carbon base plate. Ito, papato kasi nano-base plate na... Uh, nano carbon pala ayan so nag-extend i think meron siyang type lang check ko lang yung ano pad so yeah so meron siyang thermal pad 
Uh, pwede siyang mag-act as a heatsink. Malaki dito. Uh, pwede rin makul. Matulungan yung VRM which has a ano, para hindi siya mag overheat. For the memory naman, so this is supported po siya ng quad channel. I think yung frequency ng support ito is 3200 megahertz. Capacity is mga 128 ato ato. Uh, EPS power connector is dalawang 8 pin. So, for dalawang 4 plus 4. Kukunin yung power supply dito is minimum is 100 850 or 750. Mag-start ka 750 kasi meron dalawang ano yun, 4 plus 4 pin. So, to be safe is kuha kayo ng mga 850 watts na ano, power supply. So, dito meron siyang CPU uh, pin, uh, yung sa cooler, and dalawa, dalawa dito. For the CPU, yung sa pump. Then, meron siyang power and reset button dito. Next tayo guys, uh, dito. So, as you can see guys, meron siyang ditong limang uh, system fan. So, 4 pin yan. So, naka ano siya, right angle na siya para hindi siya mahirapan i- uh, cable management. So, normally guys, pag nag out, dito talaga nag pag pag sa motherboard or yung sa fan na ano, power, dito talaga ako naghanap na connector. So, dito na nanilagay lahat. So, next is the 24 pin. So, meron din dito, I think this is a USB. So, post dito, makikita nyo, eto, uh, this is for the USB Type-C connector. Ito yung sa front panel. Meron siyang 10 na SATA port here. Naka-right angle po. So, lahat po ng connector dito, guys. And, naka-ano po siya? Naka-right angle. So, dito is yung USB uh, Gen 1 na ano, front panel. So, meron siyang dalawa. And, dito, para makikita kayo pala 6 to? Uh, 6 pin. I think this is for the GPU. Parang supplement power. So, yan. Pwede nyo ikabit dyan. Hindi na kayo mag-additional cable or for cable management. Tapos, makikita nyo para siyang meron ano, dito, guys. RGB LED. Ayan. So, this support the ano, uh, RGB Fusion na gigabyte yung 2.0 na RGB Fusion. And over here, makikita nyo yung PCH, yung fan, your active cooling nila. Apat ata eh. Uh, supported ng NVMe uh, M.2. So, apat. Isa dito, one, two, three yan. So, four, three, then two. Hindi ko na bubukas ang guys ha. Tapos meron siyang apat na PCIe Gen 4. So this is times 16 times 8 times 16 then times 8. Sobrang daming uh, PCIe lanes nito. Uh, this motherboard guys uh, support yung dual BIOS. Pag kunwari nag-update kayo then nasira, pwede nyo gamitin yung number 2 na BIOS. And switch nyo lang dito. Tapos meron siyang UN, ito, USB. Yes. Tapos yung dalawang RGB header uh, for 12 volts and yung 5 volts addressable. Then, yung uh, Thunderbolt, meron siya, supported dito in the port. And of course, yung sa audio here. So, next is for the rear I.O. So, yan guys, makikita nyo, meron na po siyang naka-pre-mount na input and output or I.O. shield. So, dito, meron siyang dalawang button. Uh, first is yung clear CMOS button and yung uh, Q flash. The, this is for the BIOS, mag kayo ng BIOS. So, USB 3.2, uh, Gen 1, apat yan. Next is for the Wi-Fi. Uh, so, did you know yung dalawang antenna for the Wi-Fi 6? Uh, dual Ethernet, 10 gigabits. Tapos, mayroon po siyang vents uh, dito. Then, yung apat na to is a USB 3.2 Gen 2. Mayroon po siyang isang uh, Type-C o yung reversible uh, connector dito. Next is yung audio. For the audio naman guys, this is a true high fidelity music. So, meaning uh, digital audio uh, provides a high quality uh, surround sound. Tapos, nagsusupport din siya ng quad DAC. Ito po yung digital analog converter. If you're, ano, then yan, nakikita nyo, uh, gold-plated audio jacks for maganda po yung sound output or yung quality. Tapos, yung nilagay nila dito na capacitor for audio is yung WIMA capacitor. Ito daw yung mga ginagamit for mga audio file na grade na capacitor. Yan. So, dito po yan. So, alright guys, so that's the quick overview of the, ano, uh, TRS-14 R16 na gaming motherboard from Gigabyte. So, wait yung build ko dito and gusto so, ko yung malaman yung thermals ito guys. May kakabit ko tong RS na liquid cooler na 360. So, this is a 360 rat. Actually, bago kong uh, nilabas nila eh. Okay, so check na lang natin kung saan ko ikakabit. That's a case. Yung case kasi nagkakabit ko is for yung AC300 at uh, yung dati ko nang ginamit na Gigabyte. For future proof lang guys. 
sobrang solid nito kasi hindi ko lang natakita yung ano niya for yung additional na part uh, para may yung additional na uh, apat na MD and MD and that too or they can make niya for mga content creation, uh, professional use uh, basta rin nag-games kayo, nag-stay kayo ayan, while rendering pwede kayo mag-games ito ang nakalagay sa akin is yung 24 ports and 48 pets and also yung picture niya and also if you're into RG For the gaming hardware drugs na the X40 Auto 16 na uh, unboxing. Any questions naman tayo guys, let me know in the comment section below what I'm just going to build. Very uh, excited na ako guys to build ko. Uh, it's my first time na uh, build ng uh, Threadripper. So thank you Auris. Uh, shout out to Sir Martin of Giga5. So there you have it. Ito yun na yung build ako dito sa gaming hardware drugs. And for ako mag end guys, ingat po kayo sa virus yung uh, SARS CoV-2 and positive fires na at uh, dahil hindi mo kayong kasakit huwag niyong baliwala yung mga sakit so stay at home guys kayo lalaman sa labas na kayo pag uh, na-re-notice na yung supply ng mga pagkaya yun so yun lang so there you have it thank you guys for tuning in ako pa yung section so like and video subscribe and I'll see you on my next unboxing video